Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my hospital bag. And yes, I did say my hospital bag because it's going to be what I packed for myself and my husband and not for my baby because I'm going to be doing a video of what I packed for my baby in my next video because this video is going to be way too long if I added everything in it. I am going to be giving birth at nine wells. I'm planning on having a normal birth and not a c-section so I'm planning on just staying for two days so my packing is meant for two days or three days uh, supposing an emergency c-section happens. I've packed it according to the list that nine wells has given me and then I just added some other things obviously the things that I would need and I made a complete checklist of my own which I also will add on the screen and I'm the kind of person who needs to make lists otherwise I would just forget everything. Also just a disclaimer I am a first time mom. I have had no previous experience of course I've like talked to my sister, my cousins and friends that have had babies before and got some tips and tricks but I'm pretty new at this so if things come across as very weird or strange it's just because I've not done this before and I'm just documenting this just for memory's sake, just for the fun of it and yeah, let's get on to the video. Here's a quick overview of what my hospital bag looks like. I chose the biggest travel suitcase size. I've also kept room to put in our last mini things like my tripod, the camera bag, my snacks because I do want to take a few like milk packets and juice packets and stuff, my nursing pillow. That entire section is all empty because of that. So here's the top section of my bag. Right in the corner, I have three pairs of socks. I tend to get really cold feet, especially sleeping in the AC. Some handkerchiefs because I am someone who gets a runny nose pretty often, so I want to be prepared. And in case, you know, I'm crying and emotional, I need something to wipe those tears off. Back here, I have two hammers just in case I need to wash things and I need to dry them in the hospital room. I can use those too. Big old laundry bag to collect our dirty laundry in. Bunch of rolled up plastic bags and this is to put in like our wet towels or wet clothes or whatever you never know the necessity for a plastic bag so I have about a good five or six wrapped up like this here's the main section of my suitcase and right in the corner here I have my husband's bag here's a closer look at what's in my husband's bag two comfy t-shirts a skinny a normal comfy t-shirt and these he can wear in the night and just comfy attire and to go with that two pairs of shorts two nicer t-shirts so this dark blue one and this red one and this is to match my outfits as well just in case we want to take photos and we just want to be color coordinating the harder material shorts three pairs of underwear. In the corner here I have our, our toiletries bag. So here's what's in my toiletries bag. This bag is like this uh, plastic material so it's not going to get wet because I'm not sure what the toilet conditions are going to be like and it has plenty of room to fit these and then way more so I'm not like you know stressing out for space. I'm going to be sharing this with my husband as well. So the first thing in here is some toilet paper and this was very important to me because I know that you can get stitches down there which means that you've got to keep that area really dry each time you go to the washroom. So every time I go I'm going to make sure I wipe really well so that there's less chance of infection. I have some baby wash. My husband and I are also going to be using baby wash to wash ourselves. We don't want to expose our little baby to any harsh scents. Some shampoo and I don't think I'm I'm going to be showering in hospital but just in case I feel really yucky and I want to shower I have some shampoo and I'm not going to bother taking like conditioner for example because that's excessive. Some uh, regular face wash that we use. Two little tubes of toothpaste. The travel size 
toothbrushes. I took a bar of baby soap just in case we run out of something and we need to like wash some clothes in there. And I don't want to use like harsh chemical soap. And then I just took some normal hand soap because we're going to be eating in their room and I want to be able to wash my hands well. And yeah, that's all in my toiletries bag. Bras, panties. Here's a closer look at my bras bag. All these bras I've gotten are not the, you know, the maternity flip up kind of bras. At the hospital, you're still so new to everything. I just don't want to be stressed out with clipping up and clipping off and having only half my boob exposed. The ones that I've got are really comfy, like all t-shirt material. They all open completely down the front, so skin to skin contact is going to be really easy. They're all under wireless, so that's really comfy as well. So I got two of this kind. The other one's actually in my uh, first outfit bag. I got two of this kind, so this one, this one, this one I got. This is like a sports bra. The previous ones I would wear like for the night, maybe. But this one's really supportive and it zips down the middle like this. So, you know, you have ease of access and it's really pretty and lacy and yeah this is what I'm going to be wearing when I'm coming home. So here's a closer look at my panties bag. I have four different kinds of panties and I have eight in there. All of these panties look quite humongous but honestly they fit well although they look huge. All their legs are really comfy, none of them have like harsh elastic in there. The waists are pretty comfy too and they're cotton so it's really good for after childbirth. Just in case I have to or I'm compelled to go for an emergency c-section I need to have high-waisted panties because the cut is going to land right where your normal regular low-rise panties hit. So I bought a bunch of these high-waisted ones. So this first one, I have two of this kind. I have this kind and what's cool about this kind is that it has this elastic that is adjustable. You can adjust it to the size of your waist. This one looks absolutely humongous but I tried them on and it's actually not that bad. So if you can see it has these loops and you can pull it and you can button it to whichever place you want it to be so that it's adjustable to your waist. And finally, I have this kind, but what's cool about this one is that it does not have an elastic up here at all. It's just like a band. My first outfit right after I give birth. So here's a closer look at what's in my first outfit bag. Some high-waisted maternity panties, a maternity bra, a bed jacket, a wraparound skirt. And the reason I took a wraparound skirt is because this is what I'm going to be wearing right after delivery. So if they need to check anything, it's, I think it's going to be easier. You know, I don't have to get up out of the bed or anything. Sanitary products like pads, etc. Here's a closer look at my pads bag. I have these Eva loop pads. It has the loops on the two corners and I just took five of them. I know the hospital provides these stuff, but just in case I run out or need extra, I'm going to be taking these. To secure this onto my waist, this little ribbon string thingy, some regular pads that I'm comfortable in just in case these ones just don't do the trick. I just took some panty liners just in case I'm leaking before giving birth. Breast pads just in case I start leaking. And these are reusable ones so I can wash them and wear them again. All of my clothes, my tops, my pants and my dressing gown. So the first things I took were two bed jackets. They're sleeveless because I hate the feeling of sleeves. They have the buttons right down and they're super comfy and they were stitched by my mom. So here's another one, same pattern. I didn't want any lace and stuff like that because I'm not that kind of girl. And then I got two more like button down front sleeveless tops. I'm not gonna open it up because it's way too much work to fold it back again. I'm going to be taking two dresses too. These ones do button down in front, buttons all down the way and they're just knee length dresses. And I took these two to match with my husband. So I took a blue t-shirt to match with this one and a red t-shirt to match with this one. Just in case I feel well enough to take photos and stuff like that, then we can do that. And then my hospital list had asked for three 
three skirts or pants. I took two pants and these are like maternity pants. They're like huge, like they can accommodate my nine month stomach. A wraparound skirt as well, borrowed from my mom actually. A sweater because I get very cold and I don't want to be miserable and cold while taking care of a baby and my personal care bag which I'm gonna be sharing with my husband so first this big big old bag back here I love it because it fits everything in and I don't need to worry about space and in there I have some Vaseline because I wrap this on my feet so that it doesn't get dry and we are going to be in an AC room so my feet would get really dry. Then I have some nipple balm because I've heard that most new mothers get like really dry and cracked nipples. So just to be on top of that, I brought some nipple balm. Some body cream that my husband and I both can use. Deodorant, baby cologne. Again, we're not going to take any like proper perfumes and stuff because we don't want to smell too intense. Some hair gel because I am kind of addicted to hair gel because I have crazy flyaways. But nothing keeps my hair down other than hair gel. I've taken some of my face cream and put it in here. I've taken some of my powder and put it in here. So in my self-care bag is also my little makeup bag. I am not um, certain whether I'm going to be wearing makeup uh, when I'm in hospital because I don't know if I'll feel like it. But I don't want to not bring it and then regret just in case I want to take some cute first family photos or something. I have a powder brush to put my powder. Lipstick. I know I won't use foundation because that's a lot but just to conceal the dark under eye circles, some concealer. An eyebrow pencil. Eyeliner. Um, I'm not a person who wears makeup very often but I feel like when you wear this much you can look presentable and you know you, look, you can look okay. So that's why I brought it. And <laughs> my purse is like way too big for all of this but this is my designated makeup bag so I just I'm bringing it. So this is my hair related tin and it, this also goes in my personal care bag and in here I have a little crackle clay thing and this is because my hair is pretty long and when I need to have a wash I definitely need to clip my hair up. Some lip balm because even when I'm not in an AC room I constantly need lip balm to keep my lips not dry. So I think that's going to be really handy all of the time. Cotton buds, some rubber bands, just in case I want to put my hair up. Smaller ones, just in case I want to like braid my hair in a plait and put it at the bottom. Little ones, just in case. It doesn't take a lot of space, I just want to be prepared. Hairpins as well, just in case. And also in here goes this tiny little box that I'm going to have some medication because my husband is the kind of person who gets headaches and gastritis and things like that and I don't want him to be uncomfortable and especially in a stressed out situation he usually gets those little illnesses so I have some Panadol, Digeen, Strepsils ready for him to take so that he's not running up and down to the pharmacy and it all fits in nicely like that. I have some rubber slippers in here because I don't want to be walking in the nasty hospital bathroom without any rubber slippers. A covering sheet just in case my husband gets cold in the AC room because hospitals have like central air conditioning and at times it can get very cold. Two towels and these ones are not the very biggest bath towels but it's big enough that you can, can cover yourself with them. All of these things have been washed, not ironed because I don't believe in ironing but it has definitely been washed. And yeah, that is all for my hospital bag. <laughs>